Hello everybody. Right then, I've just been doing a bit of cardiovascular work, sawing these uh, covers for the cross heads. This is part two of my cross heads. Uh, now I've got them sawn out and squared up, and the the size the size to fit the cross heads. I'm now about to drill the fixing holes to them dimensions. So I'm, I'm set up in my vice, in my milling vice, and I'm going to use my dials to to get me over. The reason I'm going to do that is because they're very, there's not much to play with in this part here. Okay, then I've got me uh, me covers drilled as a pair. I'm now going to clamp them to the cross head exactly in position and spot through the holes so I get me my holes lined up exactly, and then I'm going to tap them six ba. Are you still with me? Right, I've just got this one 6BA hole to finish tapping. So if you just bear with me while I finish this one off, uh, I'm going to give you a tip on 6BA screws. That, that may help somebody. Now 6BA screws, if, any, if, if anybody might have tried to buy some, they cost a fortune to buy. And uh, I've not I've not even been able to find any in stainless steel. So I've got some M3 screws here in stainless, a bag of fifty, cost me a few pound. If you try to buy BA, you, it'd cost you a few pound to buy five. So that equation's out for me anyway. So I've bought this bag of fifty M3 screws, and it, you'll all have thread charts, I'm sure. If you look at a 6BA thread, I'm in shot there, here, the OD is 0 0.1102 thousandths, the pitch is 20 thou. Right, so if you look at an M3 thread, where are we? You'll always find an M3 thread, although it should be 3mm on OD, you'll, all, you'll always find it measures a bit less. And in my case, these measured 2.8mm, which is approximately the same size as 6BA on OD. And the pitch is half a millimeter, which is 20 thousandths. So the pitch and the OD are very, very near. The only difference is, is the thread form. As instead of 60 degrees on a metric, you've got 47 and a half degrees on a BA. So, I've saved one of the screws to do. I've done, I've done them all. I've just got this last one to do. And I'll put this in vice and show you that if you've got a 6BA die, it'll just run down this thread, this M3, a nice fit. Put a bit of compound on and it will give a good thread. There's a little bit of force, it's probably just changing thread form.
I don't know if you can see that, if it's focusing or not. Anyway, you take my word for it, it's as good as a, th it's as good as a boat BA thread. Now then, you might say, well, I don't want to use uh, a mixture of metric spanners and imperial spanners. Fair enough. The actual size for M3 is 5.5 the spanner size well if you've got a 732 spanner or socket it fits perfectly just just as good as the 5.5 mil So you might say, well, why don't you just go and buy an M3 tap and tap them M3? Well, I've got plenty of BA taps, and I don't want to go buying taps that I don't need, really need. So, well, that's my theory, and I'm sticking by it. I'm using my 732 socket instead of 5.5. Right, I'll just put these other bolts in. Then we'll have a talk about what I'm going to do next. Because they're not finished yet, these this cross heading slide bar. Right, what I've got to do now then, just revert back to drawing. I've just got to go over to drill or mill and put these holes in the slide bar. One each end and one of them's counterboard. Then I've got to make the slipper. I'll probably do the slipper that fits on the top. There. probably do that in another video that's made out of bronze and then I've just got to do this uh, lubrication hole in the cross head and also there's the mounting blocks to do uh, two BA mounting blocks in the same material as the slide bar probably about three quarter long Okay, I've been over on my Marford lathe and I've just made the mounting blocks. And all it is, is a piece of square bar, the same size as the slide bars, with a 2BA thread for 7 16 long, and then the bodice 3 8 with a hole through it. And I've left it, I've got to cut it yet in half, I've left, it, left the stock material in the middle so I could drill them both together and put the, the holes in the slide bars next That's the slide bars completed. This is the cross head lubrication system which I'm about to do and it's showing a, a quarter inch diameter recess in the centre of the cross head and I'm not really happy with that because there's a bolt hole right in the centre of that cross head and if I put a quarter inch cutter halfway over this face 
it's gonna it's gonna be very very close to that fixing hole so I've decided to bring it in between these holes here I don't know why it's showing it in the centre I'm drawing so it's a half it's a quarter diameter halfway into the face down to this bottom face where the slide runs and then there's an intersecting 1 16th hole in that way and down from that way in this very thin web at the back ok back on workbench just off camera I've drilled the the screws for the for adjusting the slipper the bronze slipper that fits in the top I did them off camera it's exactly the same as doing the screws for the fixing for fixing the cover on modified M3 bolts I've used and tapped on 6BA and also off camera I've just drilled the the hole where the conrod fits for the gudging pin 5 sixteenths diameter on one side 3 sixteenths on the other side and that's it now they're complete I've got the lubrication point drilled in so the next job I've got to do then is the the bronze slipper which is here and two gudging pins two of each I'll probably do them in my next video then I'll be ready for setting the covers up to position them to connect them to the slide bars and also the motion plates to connect to the frames <coughs> that's it so I'll catch you on my next video then Thanks for watching, bye for now then.